The SUV I'm about to show you is the 2024 Toyota Highlander Limited. Not the hybrid, but the gas version. There's a huge buzz about the hybrids, uh, especially with Toyotas. Uh, but you know, getting a hybrid right now is a little bit challenging or can be a little bit challenging. Typically, you got to get on a little bit of a wait list or reserve a vehicle incoming from the factory. It could take uh, a couple months, could be a month, could be three months, heck, could be six months. Uh, but the gas versions, they're in stock here at the dealerships. And let's not look past these gas model uh, Toyota Highlanders. They get 24 combined miles per gallon and they put out 265 horsepower. If you're not commuting over 10,000 miles a year, it's not worth paying the extra price to get into the hybrid just for increased fuel economy. Hey, let's take a closer look at this and let me show you why going with the gas version 2024 Highlander is the way to go versus waiting around and paying even more for the hybrid. Everything about the gas and the hybrid Highlanders pretty much are exactly the same except for the powertrain. Uh, on these Limiteds, whether it's uh, the gas or the hybrid, does come with uh, your parking sensors. As you can see, those little dots right there on the bumper. You do get your perimeter view cameras, the LED lightings, daytime running lights, headlights, fog lights, and you even get the beautiful 20 inch wheels. And uh, those are sharp looking wheels. There's no need to put an aftermarket or a custom wheel on this vehicle. Uh, those are just gonna do the job just fine. I love the styling of this Highlander. I know the Grand Highlander, there's a lot of buzz uh, circling that vehicle right now. And uh, that's a great car, but hey, if you don't need uh, that size of SUV, but still need the third row seat, you got to go with this uh, 2024 Highlander. Uh, it's going to solve your needs as far as people, carrying people and cargo, uh, just fine. And if you're not taking a four-hour road trip, heck, you don't need the extra room in the third row seat. The uh, perimeter view cameras this vehicle comes with, not only do you get your back camera and your front camera, but also the side cameras uh, that are right below your... Uh, side view mirrors as you can see the little camera right there and those are so beneficial for when you're parking in the city parallel parking or even if uh, you live in an area where you have uh, uh, red light cameras at all your traffic intersections i got a ticket once for uh, having my front bumper going over the white line at the uh, intersection and uh, with the uh, perimeter view cameras you can see exactly where you're stopping this also has the foot activated lift gate. All you have to do is put your foot right underneath the bumper there and uh, the gate will open up. And uh, this is the cargo room you get inside the uh, Highlander when the third row seats are up. Of course, moving the uh, floor mats down a little bit. This one does have the all weather floor liner package. Hey, there's still plenty of room for you to uh, vertically stack uh, multiple different suitcases or bags back here if you need to if you're going on that road trip or headed to the airport and to fold the seats down all you do is just grab the uh, little lever here on the shoulder and just let it go they fold down uh, and fold completely flat and then that gives you all that cargo room in the back pretty remarkable the second row seats uh, this one is the bench seat in the uh, second row you can also get it with an available second row captain's chair setup now let's take a closer look at this uh, second row seating and how you can configure these seats here so one thing that's great with the highlanders these seats do work on a track system so if you uh, are uh, seating uh, adults in the third row seat all you have to do is grab this lever right there and uh, creates a lot of extra leg room in the back. Now that seat is all the way up towards the uh, pushing back towards the front seats. But if you you can delegate that leg room just like that, and everybody's going to have uh, uh, equal uh, space, uh, whether it's in the second row seat or in the third row seat. Another nice touch with the Limited is the uh, rear air controls. 
that you get uh, behind the uh, center console. So all digital readout there, uh, air temperature, fan speed, and you can uh, delegate the way that the air is gonna flow. Right down below there, you do get a dual USB plus a uh, 120 power outlet port. Uh, so, hey, if you got uh, kids uh, that you're taking in the back, of course, electronic devices are super important to them and uh, they will be able to look at their screens if they don't want to look out the window. But hey, if it's sunny and they want to look out the window, but they don't want to get blinded by the sunlight, look at that. Little sunshades built into the door panels and they're really durable too. Coming through to the uh, driver door panel, you do have memory seats uh, right there, plus uh, power folding mirrors. You can have that on an auto feature, so when you lock the doors, they fold in, and uh, or you could just do it at any time, like if you're going through a car wash. Multi-way adjustable power driver seat with uh, lumbar, the perforated uh, premium leather seating. Now the uh, side bolsters are the soft hex material, but this is a genuine leather in the center of that seat. This one does have your standard uh, moonroof, but it also has uh, the automatic high beam feature for your headlights. Uh, that is your perimeter view camera switch right there. Uh, heated steering wheel, rear power hatch, and that is an auto uh, stop feature for the gas engine. You can manually turn that off if you don't like the engine shutting down when you do get to the uh, red light uh, at the intersection. It's really easy to do. Just hit the button and uh, it cancels that system out. Now, one thing I've always loved with Toyotas is their uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So when you lower that tab down, your steering wheel could adjust up and down, and then it also goes in and out. So if you have a longer legs and a shorter torso, and uh, your seat's back all the way, but it feels like you're reaching a mile for the steering wheel, you could take that steering wheel and pull it right up close to you. This center console in the uh, Highlanders are pretty remarkable. It's all padded in the middle, just like on the sides, but that whole thing slides open, and gosh, look at all that space in there. You could take your Chihuahua or your little teacup poodle, put it in there and have them ride up front with you. This is a 12.3 touchscreen uh, multi-information display stack there uh, with your digital readout of dual climate controls. And then of course, uh, your shift knob. All the, uh, the parking brakes in these cars now are all electronic. You just put it into a park, it sets your parking brake, put it into drive, releases it. And then you have all your all wheel drive options right there. So. This little lever or switch knob here, this will delegate uh, uh, the all wheel drive system based off the terrain you're driving on. And then of course you do have your uh, electronic parking brake. If you do want to manually set that, you still have the option. And then you have your downhill assist and your snow button. Essentially the snow button will start your transmission off in second gear, releases torque or eliminates torque. So you're not gonna uh, be spinning the wheels uh, trying to get up out of the snow on the passenger side i love the ergonomics of the dash here for the uh, uh, passengers you do get a little cargo bin right up front underneath the dash i really love the styling of this dash it's very sleek very modern and uh, definitely uh, looks a lot different than the previous generations of highlanders Now, another great thing with the 2024 Highlander is the towing capability. This vehicle will still pull 5,000 pounds. So light trailering, light boating, camping over the weekends will definitely get the job done. And with it being all wheel drive, especially up here in the Northwest with all of our inclement weather, I don't know if you could tell with the video, it's pouring rain right now, uh, but uh, this will get you through any sleet, any snow, uh, all different kinds of weather going up over a mountain pass or taking long road trips throughout all different climates uh, will definitely uh, not be a problem for the Toyota Highlander. So looking at the 12.3 inch touchscreen here, I uh, threw the vehicle in reverse so you can see the backup camera. Uh, what's great about this uh, uh, whole perimeter view camera system and the backup camera is that not only do you see 
uh, where you're going behind you, but you can see everything around the vehicle as well. And uh, this is actually a static picture that uh, is saved in uh, the touch screen there, but uh, uh, all the uh, vehicles and everything moving around you. I don't know if you can see the shadow right there of a car driving by, as you can see it right there on the screen, uh, but it is a pretty clear view. Again, parallel parking in the city is a breeze, backing it up is a breeze. And uh, one thing I really like about this is that uh, it has the dynamic grid line. So when you uh, turn your steering wheel, it uh, shows you your projected path of where the vehicle is going to go. So if you are trailering, backing a trailer up, backing the boat up into the slip or onto the uh, uh, boat ramp there, you can uh, do it with ease and see exactly how everything's going. And uh, so let's uh, back this up a little bit here and uh, show you how easy it is. I'm going to park it right next to the two other Highlanders that are sitting behind us. Now, when you're doing this, obviously you don't want to rely 100% on the backup camera. It is really there just to give you more visibility all the way around the car to make sure that you have a clear path and you're not gonna hit an object behind you. Uh, you should always, always, always look in your rear view mirror and look behind you when backing a vehicle up and again, this is just for demonstration purposes, and I am a professional. Now, if you can hear the beeping, that is your uh, rear parking sensors or backup parking sensors. Uh, Toyota is now calling it parking sonar, uh, but uh, as you back it up, those beeps get closer, and then all you do is come to a stop.